Hi everyone, my name is John Leitch and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we are going to be talking about regular expressions, or rejects for short. Regular expressions are commonly seen in many programming languages and also data analysis softwares. They are used to find patterns inside strings. In this example here, I have a car database where I have my year, brand and model of the car. If I want to break down this information, I could use the text to columns tool, but I will be using rejects to show how it can be done. So if I check my rejects tool, I can see here that I have my expression, I have the parse method, and I have three columns. How does it know how many columns I have? It's because I'm grouping them use those parentheses here. Now, if I want to know how to write regular expressions, I can search on the internet for the most common symbols, and also I can press here inside Alteryx to see the suggestions of each symbol inside rejects. In this example, I'm using a combination of digits and words and separating them using the space between each text. If I check my browse tool, I'll see that I have my columns formatted as I wrote down in the rejects tool. I can also use rejects for web scraping, so if I have a website and I want to get information from it, I can use the download tool and then get the information I want. In this case, I got all of the links inside the website. Here I'm using the tokenize method and split to rows, so I can see every single link inside the website. The most common symbols are character symbols, quantifiers and anchors, special characters and groups. Character symbols are used to find the letters or words, digits, white spaces, or any other word you want inside your rejects. Quantifiers are used to delimit how many words or how many combinations you want, and anchors are used to anchor your rejects to the start or end of a string, or also there are anchors for end and start and end of words. There are some special characters like new line, carriage return, and tabulation, and some characters are reserved, so if I want to escape them, I have to use a slash before. And the groupings are very useful when I want to break down my information in different groups. The most common one is the first, where I use my capture group, but there are other some you can be using too. I have my name here, where I broke it down by finding a combination of one or more words follow it by a period, then I have a spacebar, then a combination of one or more words, another spacebar, then just a single word with the middle initial, then another spacebar and a combination of more words. Now if I don't have experience in using rejects, how can I know how to write this down? I often find my file, I copy some lines, and I use this website, it's called rejectsr. If I copy my text here and write my expression up here, let me just copy this. I like using this website because I have my recommendations here on my expressions, I can see the results down here and I can hover over my text and see what I'm having. And back here in the Alteryx workflow, if I go over the street code, it's just the same. I have digits, one or more, I have a spacebar separating them, then I have a combination of words and spacebars. Now why do I want a combination instead of just words and spaces? It's because some street names have more than two words here, more than two combinations and I have to use it this way. Then I have another spacebar and my last group is my zip9 code. 
the zip9 code pattern is three words, a spacebar, and three words. Words include both letters and digits. If I had used just the G here, they are only digits. And if I want just words, I can write down as this and this. Or if I'm using case insensitive, I can just write down it like this and it will work. So if I check my results here, I'll have every data broken down in different columns. So that's it for Regex in Alterx Designer. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.